So we've got the next round of data mining, and as always, warning, speculation ahead. Because this is all speculation, it's all files that are in the, in the game at the moment, in, in the public test server, but they don't necessarily mean they'll come to the game. But with Torvald, who came with all the abilities and cards that were in the data mining, and also Maeve now, who also had all their abilities and cards in the data mining, we do get a good idea of what champions are coming, what changes are coming in the game, because we can look at the files that are already being put into the game at the moment, but that aren't activated in any way. And hey, I put my hands up, I got it wrong about Maeve. Maeve was not a cat, even though she has cat eyes. She's only cat-like. She could, I mean, she had pounce and nine lives, so it would have made sense if it was that, like a full-on cat furry type thing. But it, but it wasn't. But anyway, OB43, this patch that we've got at the moment, Data mining has shown us two new champions, or at least one of them's already been teased. But the new one that hasn't been teased is Lawman. And this champion is gonna have dual wielded pistols. Oh boy. Basically gonna be playing like Trigun in this game. Just just being this sort of master gun wielder. There there's some really awesome abilities, by the way. So I'm gonna skip straight ahead. Let's just go past it, all the other ones. Combat slide. Activate to quickly slide forward in the direction you're facing. Oh my god, this could be just like the Matrix moment of just sliding down on the ground in slow-mo, firing off your pistols one after another, hearing the clicks as they, they revolve around. This could be actually pretty awesome. This is going to be, I think, the escape, and also basically just badass button that you're just going to use to, to look like a badass. The other ability, Mark Shot, Marks an objective, and you can also aim on the objective if possible. And you mark a target for 3.5 seconds, and all your shots will hit them automatically. I, I don't know what, I think the wording's a bit weird in the data mining, but in general, I think for 3.5 seconds, you'll hit somebody no matter where you're shooting, which sounds a bit crazy, in my opinion, but perhaps it just locks on your weapon rather than just sort of firing in the air and then your bullet spinning around and hitting them. But I guess that's sort of how, um, you know, in like the spoofs, like a marksman will like fire off in like just the general direction of somebody and then get the kill. I guess that's how marksmen sort of are parody. Maybe, maybe it will be like that. So Vengeance, the last person to kill you is Mark. So I'm guessing that's just like Mark shot. It will basically lock onto them with your shots if they have killed you. And apparently activating Q selects a random new player to be marked. If that player gets over 5 kills in a kill streak, you can sense them when they're in 60 feet of you, even through line of sight. That's an interesting one, as it's going to mark up a Sky or a Sharlin who might be invisible, and generally just line somebody up for you to kill them if they're marked. Finally, the ability The Law, you fire your pistols, hitting all targets in the direction you are facing. So, another sort of lock-on ability. Whether this one's the ultimate, or, uh, or just another ability, I'm not sure. This one sounds actually... I know that we're gonna go into the, uh, the, the Overwatch territory again, and the comparisons, but it does sound a bit like McCree's ultimate, the uh, Deadeye ultimate, where you lock on to people in an area. Maybe it'll be like that. This champion is obviously a gunslinger, um, they're called the Lawman, so are they gonna be a sheriff? Are they going to be a cop? Maybe they'll be like more of a futuristic cop type thing, but with sort of the fantasy elements, maybe it'll be like a fantasy lawman. Who knows? But this is a champion that is going to come in two patches or two releases. So this, this champion might not see the light of day for at least another month. But it's quite interesting to hear what they have already. The, the one thing I don't like about this champion is the lock-ons. I don't like lock-ons in games, I just think that the ability of locking onto somebody is basically not skillful, eh? And because it's not skillful, you don't have to actually do anything if you're locking onto somebody. It's also quite boring. And that's why I'm not exactly thrilled about this character. I think that sort of slide, the combat slide, sounds awesome. And if you have a champion that has dual pistols, and you, you make it more skill-based and maybe have some sort of like different modes of fire and things, then I'd be all for this champion. But lock-ons, that's that's not me. Count me out on lock-ons. That's not that's not my that's what not what I'm about. I'm about the skill. I'm about like getting better and through your own skill. 
and obviously the champions with lock-ons have a lower skill ceiling and then you might not see them in the pro scene so it'll lock out the sort of pro play anyway that's my thoughts on the lawman what will he be maybe he'll be like a dog <laughs> just like a, a, do a shooting dog sheriff sort of thing but who knows i'm just trying to come back again after everyone was upset that Maeve was a, a human being the other one that i haven't actually really talked about um before is this sort of barrier tank there's no full name the the barrier tank is the prototype name and we, we don't know what it actually is yet so the number one ability is earth and guard so you enter defensive state the last eight seconds where for every deployable that you have active 30 percent of the damage you take is redirected to that deployable if you've heard of earth spirit in dota they put down sort of like big stones and you can do things with those knock them about stun people with them and also activate them to do damage so it sounds like you have these sort of um things to activate and they they're actually called so warders field you place a stone obelisk that every 0.5 seconds projects pulses which slow enemies for 35 percent and damage them for 150. So this one's quite interesting because you'll be putting all these obelisks around and all they do is slow a little bit and damage them a little bit a bit like barracks turrets and the third one is impasse so you deploy a small wall that grows out of the ground and lasts for eight seconds and you activate the ability again to grow the wall to full height straight away so this one will work out like a block on the maps to change how people can get in and to attack a point and this character these other parts are almost like the the line between a tank and a support because you're supporting your team by making blocks by funneling the enemies in different directions and doing little bits of damage and blocking with your obelisks so again it's got this sort of Torvald situation where you're sort of a utility whilst also being a tank. Finally, Guy Bulg is you throw a spear and you gain increased jump height and when you throw the spear, it'll pass through any shields and stun enemies within 25 units of the impact for 2 seconds. So just a big stun basically. Maybe a bit like Bomb King but just without the damage. So that's quite interesting and then that's the other character. I think this one will be rather fun and it'll be nice to have another tank in the game. Even though Drybear said in the dev Q&A that the, they were looking at mainly having damage champions coming out and that we probably wouldn't see like back to back tanks come out. But this is what well, we have had Torvald two patches ago, but this is going to be the next champion most likely. Maybe it'll be two patches away, so maybe like four weeks away. Uh, but we, we're likely to see this at some point. Sounds quite interesting. I actually like the sound of this tank. Could be very fun and a bit different and quirky and also fantasy like Maeve. Maeve has quite a lot of fantasy abilities and that's why I, I quite like her in this setting in, in Paladins at the moment. Okay, let's get the jokes out of the way. Let's make Paladins great again. Let's build the wall. Let's do all that. This champion may be the Donald Trump of Paladins. But no, I don't think it is actually. This, this champion does sound really fun. And that is both the champions. The Lawmaker hopefully isn't going to be a lock-on champion. That's what I'm, I'm pushing for. Please, please no lock-ons. Please make it a skillful champion to play. Ah, it, it, couldn't, it could work out badly. And also this wall champion. This wall champion actually sounds good and sounds like it's quite fleshed out. And yeah, should be fun. Should be somewhere between Barrack and a wall master. A master of walls. Uh, Trumpier. Trumpian. That could be the name of the champion. Wall Trumpian. There we go. What does everyone think about these champions that are coming forward? And what does everyone else think about the talent cards or legendary cards, depending on what they're going to be called? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below, but I thought it'd be interesting to speculate on this one. And as always, like or dislike as you see fit, subscribe for more of my content, and I'll see you all next time. Joshino.